All right, question from YouTube. Does it matter what you say on the open? E.g., you're standing on two feet, that wall is black, or are there certain words, phrases, or sentences that you shouldn't use? So this is interesting. Um, first of all, whenever you ask a question, does X matter in game? The answer is yes. Everything matters. Literally everything matters. It's just a question of how much. Some things matter a lot, some things matter very little. Um, it happens that what you say on the open does matter a good deal, but that doesn't mean that you can't get a result while doing a very bad job, right? So you're standing on two feet as an opener. Could you pick up a girl with that as your opener and do it successfully? Absolutely yes, if you follow up the opener well and say good things afterwards. Uh, that wall is black, I think was the other one. Could you say that as your opener and have it go forward into a good set? Yes, you can. And actually, those are not by any means the worst openers. Those are bad openers in the sense that they don't accomplish much and in the sense that they're a little bit weird conversation, like they're, they're slightly grammatically sort of abnormal for a conversation. It's not how you should start a conversation with a stranger, but they're not actually low value in any way. They're not, they're not committing massive social errors. They're not giving a girl like a, an opinion of your character, which is massively negative. Um, so there are a lot of worse openers than those, for example. Um, in terms of what things you shouldn't talk about, what things you shouldn't deal with on the open, uh, typically religion and politics are a very bad idea because they're polarizing in the wrong way. They're not man to woman polarizing, they're just polarizing in terms of you're gonna get in a, a shitty discussion you don't wanna get into that can create a lot of negative emotions. Um, so I'd avoid those. Um, typically you wanna avoid a lot of questions uh, because questions tend to ask the other person to provide the interesting things in the conversation, and questions tend to not give you a chance to convey your personality. Where are you from doesn't tell the girl anything about who you are, it just asks her to hopefully say something interesting back to you. Um, so those tend to be very, very bad. Those examples, you're standing on two feet, the wall is black, are not great, but they're not bad. They're, they're declarative sentences, um, they're not wrong, hopefully. I mean, hopefully she's standing on two feet, not like one, or I don't, I don't even know. But regardless, they're, they're not hopefully like massively wrong. Um, and in general with opening, what's going to matter more than the open is what comes immediately afterwards, how you follow it up. So if you said you're standing on two feet, sorry, I just like literally said the first thing that came to mind, but you actually seem, you know, like an interesting person when it comes to hi to you. Well, now your actual opener is that second thing you said, kind of technically, but more importantly, you kept the conversation going afterwards, which is, is what really matters. Um, so neither of those openers are a complete deal breaker. Um, both of them could be used effectively. Generally, what you do want to do on the opener, if you can, is one of two things. You want to um, provoke a response in some way. So whether, whether it's because it's intriguing or um, whether it's like socially programmed um, because it's a, a, ty a, a type of like um, a statement or um, a conversation starter that, that has a socially programmed response and almost like dictates or necessitates that, that response, um, that can work. Or what oftentimes is a good thing to do is actually to, I call it instigating a little bit, is to, to say something that maybe um, implies something about the person or puts them on the spot a little bit not in a completely negative or insulting way, but in a way that like, they're like, oh shit, I better react to this, or oh, it would be weird not to, um, or I feel some kind of like urge to re-justify myself. Those can be really good in the sense that they not only provoke conversation, but they also set up a frame where you're leading, they set up a frame where the girl's re reacting to you, they set up a frame um, where uh, maybe the girl is, is taken, especially a really hot girl, is taken off of this position of everything's good and everybody's doting on me. It makes her sit up and be like, wait, what the heck, this is like taking me out of my reality and taking me out of that frame um, that I'm the super high value one and guys are hitting on me. Um, so those are good things to do on the open, but in terms of bad things to do on the open, it has to be really bad to flat out not work, right? So most guys spend too much time and attention trying to come up with the perfect opener, whereas what they probably should do is just open with anything, even if it's as bad or as simple as you're standing on two feet or that wall is black. Again, not good openers, but good enough if you're gonna follow through with them, and much better than standing around wondering what to say on the open. But yeah, the best types of openers I found are um, a few different categories. One is uh, an opinion opener, um, which is asking some sort of a, a, a opinion or some sort of intriguing question that, that merits a response or engages someone in, in conversation. The plus of that one is it gets a conversation started. The minus of that one is that it doesn't make it man to woman, so you're gonna have to do that separately. Um, the next really good one is some kind of a push-pull. So you're indicating some level of interest, but you're not giving your power away, and it's a bit intriguing. It maybe um, even puts the girl, um, I don't want to say on the defensive exactly, but it puts the girl in a position where she's not feeling completely like in control, which is good. Um, it off-balances her a little bit and makes her act like a normal person as opposed to like a, um, a condescending girl being approached. 
Um, and then the final one that I really like as a format is um, the mini cold read type of a format where you make some kind of statement or assertion about her um, that hopefully is exaggerated or funny. So it's not taken too seriously, but it's intriguing because it's about her and it provokes discussion for that reason. Um, so those are three formats that are particularly good, um, but most anything that's not overtly bad, that's not just a series of questions, especially a question asking for directions, that's not religion, politics, or something, that's what I call, again, the wrong kind of polarizing, most things can work if the follow-up is, is adequate or appropriate afterwards.